Um, so today, in today's video, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what my nutrition program is looking like right now. If you guys have been following me, you know that I've been on sort of like a fitness journey for a little while. I started April 2020. I've done so many different programs, whether it's like fitness programs or nutrition programs. I was doing one nutrition program that was very intense. Um, <laughs> I was following macros religiously and that's the point where I lost the most weight and I got the slimmest. The only thing with that though, and I mentioned it when I shared it with you guys, you guys will hear my dog tiptoeing around in the kitchen. When I shared that with you guys, I let you know that I it was not gonna be sustainable for the long run because at one point I was eating less than 1100 1100 calories per day which is very very low but we were we were trying to achieve a goal so I finished that nutrition program and after that I just kind of follow different ones so right now I am sticking to one where I'm not going to be counting macros I'm not going to be like re religiously inputting them into my fitness pal or anything like that but I want to make sure that I am under a certain limit of calories. I just finished a 12 week program that's called the Better Booty Program. If you follow me, you guys have heard me mention that I do not have a booty at all whatsoever. So I was doing tons of cardio and then I started doing weight training. And then this program has a specific focus on growing the booty. And that is one of my goals because there's nothing, there's nothing back here. And I actually did achieve some of that mass. The only downside when trying to grow mass, and let me just clarify, I am no expert. I don't have a certificate in like training or anything like that. I'm just, you know, kind of sharing what I've learned over the last year and a half. Um, to grow mass, to grow the booty, to grow your legs, you're gonna have to eat. I had to be on a calorie surplus, so I had to eat a lot, um, lots and lots of protein, and I was just eating a whole ton. And while growing my booty, I also grew my tummy. So right now, um, since I finished that program, I'm gonna do it for another 12 weeks, but we're gonna go ahead and try to cut it to where I'm slimming down and growing the boots. But you know, I'm still, I'm still gonna be eating a lot, but just not gonna be in that surplus that I was in before. So today, I'm gonna share with you guys um, what a typical day looks like for me as far as eating but just so you guys know I'm not super strict on myself because it is summertime um, we do have vacations and stuff coming up so I want to enjoy some of that as well but for the most part this is what my day looks like when I do eat so in the mornings I do take pre-workout just because I like taking pre-workout gives me a little bit more energy I also take a recovery drink during my workouts and so I'm gonna go ahead and start showing you guys here what I eat in my typical day okay so here's a glimpse of what the next six weeks are gonna look like and this is actually a nutrition plan that I had followed um, you know maybe some months back so I'm just gonna take that because I really liked it and it really worked for me so um, you guys will see that on week one and four we're gonna do a good mix of everything protein carbs veggies fruit fat week two and five we're gonna minimize the dairy and the fats and we're gonna focus more on protein carbs veggies and fruit and then week three and six that's gonna be those are gonna be low carb weeks so we're just gonna do protein fat veggies and fruit and you guys know carbs are in everything but we're talking more on like rice tortillas uh, pastas just all of that and I'm not really sure why I said tortillas instead of torti tortillas oh um, okay so <laughs> for this week one you guys will see like my breakfast I get one serving of protein one of carbs one of fruit one of fat and then for lunch I get a serving of protein serving of carbs and then one to three servings of veggies just depends what you're consider a serving and then dinner we got protein carbs fat and then your veggies and they also do two or three snacks um, per day and each snack is a serving of fruit plus one of the snacks which I have a list of the different snacks that fit into um, you know like my plan so one of the first things I eat in the day is a banana but it's so early in the day and I do it before my workout and then I take it with like my pre-workout just to give me a little bit of energy so I can get through my workout. But this is my go-to breakfast. Um, I do use a Premier Protein Caramel for this because, or the Caramel Premier Protein Shake because it's like the best one. It goes really well with this. I also have the coffee um, shake during the day for one of my snacks. So right here I'm just going to start making my oatmeal and this is one serving of oats so it's about half a cup and then I'm going to use the whole container of the shake and just mix it really well and put it in the microwave. 
So I can eat this every day, but um, normally I do it when I have a really hard lower body workout just because those are sort of intense for me. So I want to make sure I have something that's going to like, um, yeah, just kind of like a good recovery meal. So I do mix it about halfway through just because it gets that little film at the top. Um, so just mix it and then while I wait for that to cook all the way through, I'm just going to go ahead and fill up my um, water bottle with water. So this, um, you're supposed to start like at 8 a.m. or something like that, but I just fill it because I already had like my drink for like my pre-workout and stuff. So it's a lot of liquid intake for me, um, but I do try to drink at least one of these per day. And I don't always use this bottle. Sometimes I use like mason jars and just with ice and stuff. Um, but this is a really good thing to have if you actually have to go outside of your house, which I don't. I'm home all day long. Now, once it's done, like the four minutes, I just kind of let it sit there. Um, the longer it sits, the creamier it's going to get. So like not as milky, um, but that can happen also as you're eating it. So I'm just going to add my serving of carbs. Um, I actually already did that. My serving of fruits, which is like four strawberries and then a quarter cup of slivered almonds. All right, so that's my breakfast, and then my mid-morning snack is gonna be like my my snack from the list, which is a cucumber with tahini. But I'm also gonna be doing a serving of watermelon, which is about eight ounces, because it does have a lot of sugar. So we're gonna do about eight ounces of that, and I'm just gonna cut everything up, and I like to top it with tahini, um, hot sauce, and lime juice. Definitely one of my favorite snacks ever, aside from potato chips with lots of hot sauce and lime, but you know, we're trying to get back on track here, so this is what we're going to do. So I just got home, so I'm going to start making my lunch, and it is, I don't know if you can see that, but it's 3 o'clock. I started my day a little bit late today, so my meals are kind of later. I like having dinner later also, just so... I mean, I eat a lot throughout the day, but I want to make sure that it's like every three hours or so. Um, and then I also, <laughs> when I start eating more, I feel like I get hungry more. Um, so I don't want to go too long without a meal and then feel super hungry, which if I get hungry, I try to eat something healthier. You know, I, I don't like... Making myself suffer, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and make my lunch right now. It's just going to be super, super simple. And I am Mexican, so I'm just going to make something that I crave a lot. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and show you guys what that is. All right, so for my lunch, I'm going to start chopping. Um, this was about a quarter white onion, and you guys will see that my chopping skills on this one are not good, but it doesn't matter because I wanted like nice bigger pieces on the onion. And then I am going to take a pan and just spray a little bit of non- um, non-stick cooking spray it's just like vegetable oil cooking spray just spray it over and then I'm gonna put some of these chil chiles in there to give it a little bit of a spice and then also my onion and I'm just gonna saute them for a little bit
Now, I honestly was not feeling like eating any meat for lunch, so I decided to do like a plant-based protein option, which are my pinto beans, and I'm just going to take this whole thing and just add it on there. And sure, this is a lazy way. I'm, I don't want to sit there and wait four hours for my beans to cook, so I'm just going to use the can. And then I also am going to be using some of this um, chicken seasoning, and there's always like low-sodium options, so obviously you want to watch your salt intake, and then I'm just going to let those boil for a little bit. So while I wait, I'm going to start making some pico de gallo. And I just took a bunch of cilantro. Um, I did about a quarter red onion. I did one full tomato and then also one jalapeno. And I added like lime juice and seasoning to it. Okay, so this is my serving of veggies. Obviously, I'm not going to eat it all, but <laughs> some of it. And then my serving of carbs, which are going to be my corn tortillas. And the serving size on these are two. And I really wanted to add some Mexican cheese onto this, but I didn't get any fat servings for this um, meal, so I had to opt out of it. The jalapenos actually did come out a little spicy, even without the seeds in the veins. So <clears throat> it's hit, it's hit and miss with those. But um, if you like them super spicy, I would probably just leave them, leave the vein in there. Cause, and this is like, you know, we didn't grow up with a lot, and this was just one of the meals that my mom would make, you know, because it's hearty, it's filling, and it's cheap. So it's actually one of my go-to comfort foods believe it or not it's just one of those things you know All right, so I know I didn't show my second snack but I did have one of the uh, premier protein coffee shakes so um yeah I didn't show that part but now we're going to go ahead and get ready for uh, dinner and I'm just going to be washing some jasmine rice and when I cook rice I don't typically cook just regular enriched white rice I either do jasmine rice or brown rice or like wild rice and a lot of the times when I cook, I just wing it and then it depends on what I have to cook um, if I haven't like gone grocery shopping or whatever. So you guys will see here I cut up some red onion, um, some cabbage, I do have some carrots sitting over there and then also some cilantro. And then for the protein part, I'm going to be using this lean shredded beef. This is actually a pack that I purchased at Costco. This is the very first time that we've tried it, but I decided to give it a shot because it looked really good. Um, it does have 15 grams of protein per serving. Um, it does have a little bit of fat, but not too much. And then it's about 100 calories per serving, which is two thirds of a cup. So right here, our fat intake for this one is going to be some some oil. So I use a little bit of olive oil and then also some sesame oil. And then I'm just putting in some minced garlic and then some sesame 
sorry you guys I can't talk some sesame seeds and I'm just just gonna saute those a little bit I'm adding my carrots first because those take a little bit longer to cook I actually wish I would have waited to put my cabbage in towards the end but you guys will see me putting it in there I also sprinkled some black pepper in here and then just sa um, sauteed away Okay, so I added my onions and then my cabbage. And again, um, I should have waited for the cabbage a little bit longer just because it kind of wilts a lot faster. Um, so anyway, it's said and done. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in my beef in there. And you guys can see those little white spots. That's like the fattiness in it. Um, you got, you kind of just have to break it apart. At first, it did not look very appetizing. And I was like totally regretting my decision. But it actually turned out really good. So now that that's in there, I'm going to add some um, chili garlic sauce. I'm going to add some soy sauce. It's low sodium soy sauce. And then also some of this sweet chili sauce just to give it more of like that, um, you know, Asian flavor. I mean, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> that's just what I think. And then I'm just going to go ahead and let that cook through. I will be adding a little bit more cabbage um, just, you know, so it's because it wilts and it's less it feel like it disappears almost <laughs> and then I'm adding my cilantro on that so my serving of rice is going to be about half a cup um, and I'm just going to kind of flatten it out in my bowl and then just top it with everything top it with a little bit more of sesame seeds and then lime juice All right, so my super late snack, you guys can see it's already dark, the dishwasher's going, everything's cleaned and washed, <laughs> but we're going to come out here and uh, make a late night snack. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of peaches. I'm going to make one for myself and then one for my husband, and then I'm just going to go ahead and preheat my air fryer, and this is actually something I saw on TikTok that I really wanted to try, so we're going to go ahead and do it. Um, I'm just going to take my peaches and then wash them up. Now I'm just going to go ahead and spray it with some um, cooking spray. I don't have coconut cooking spray so I'm just using the butter and then I'm sprinkling some cinnamon and then using some honey as well and I'm just going to wrap it up and put it into the air fryer for about seven minutes. What I wanted to do was top it with some um, Oiko's Greek yogurt, which is my absolute favorite, but my whole tub froze in the refrigerator because it's like really close to like the little air vent or whatever, so I couldn't put any of that. So the next thing that I'm going to use is uh, some of some whipped cream, and it's literally like two tablespoons and 15 calories. Honestly, I was really craving it with the Greek yogurt, but it's okay. It still worked out, so I'm just going to do that and then put a little bit of granola on there, and that's it. Oh, 